Hi everybody, I'm excited to talk to you about Explain Everything Whiteboard, the best digital whiteboard out there today. Explain Everything Whiteboard can be used both remotely and in the classroom to guarantee teachers and students a great experience, no matter the distance, no matter the circumstances. Now, I'm going to walk you through three scenarios teachers can use in their classrooms. So the first one is explainer videos. Explainer videos are great for making pre-training videos for students, as well as tailoring the explanations of certain concepts to specific groups of students. These are super easy to create and explain everything. The second scenario I want to talk to you about is live casting your whiteboard. And this is something that can be done both in the classroom and remotely to keep everybody on the same page. The third scenario I want to talk to you about is collaborative whiteboarding, meaning an entire group of people whiteboards together in real time. As you can imagine, collaborative whiteboarding is perfect for teamwork, brainstorming, and group problem-solving sessions. I'm going to get into the details of each of these scenarios in just one moment, so stay tuned. The video format has been gaining a lot of popularity in education over the past few years. And it's not surprising, videos are a lot more engaging for students than textbooks are. So right now, I'm going to show you how to make a simple explainer video in Explain Everything. To start recording, all I have to do is tap the record button at the bottom of the screen. And here we go! Okay class, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Madrid. Now, let's take a look at what I've recorded so far. And okay, one of the great things about Explain Everything is that you don't have to get everything right in one go. Say for instance, I want to add another picture of Madrid because the one that I have here just isn't quite enough. So all I have to do is tap the add media icon over here, then photo, of course you can add other files as well, but I'm going to choose a photo. And here I have a picture of the Christopher Columbus monument in Madrid that I'd like to add to my lesson about Madrid. So I'll just shrink that down, tap done and then move my photo to where I'd like it to be, so right here next to Madrid. Now let's see what we've recorded. Let's go back to the beginning and play it one more time. Okay, class, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Madrid. All right, and notice how the second photo appears at the end of our recording, just as we put it there. So you can continue to do this, and you can do this as many times as you need, and your video will just continue to get longer and richer in content. Another great thing about using Explain Everything to create explainer videos is how easy it is to share them. So all you have to do is tap twice. We're gonna tap the share icon up here, and then we're gonna tap create web video link. The link to our video, as you can see, is generated in seconds and can easily be shared with your students using any communicator you like, and also you can share it via Google Classroom right here. So once we've done that, we just tap done, and now everybody that we sent the link to can easily watch our video on any device. The explainer video scenario is a good place to start explaining how you can use our app, just because creating these videos is so quick and so easy. But explain everything goes so much deeper than that. Curious? Stay tuned and check out the next two scenarios. A great way to conduct engaging remote lessons is by live casting your whiteboard instead of just flipping through slides for hours on end. Live casting your whiteboard basically means using a digital whiteboard instead of the traditional whiteboard, chalkboard, or flip chart and broadcasting everything that happens on it to other devices. You could say that the digital whiteboard is a supercharged version of the traditional chalkboard or flip chart because you can add so many extra elements to it, and I'll get to that in just one second. Live casting can be done two different ways. You can either live cast in the classroom, meaning that you would be using, say, Chromecast, so you could give your class instruction while facing them. Live casting can also be done remotely, and in that case, all you have to do is broadcast your whiteboard over a conferencing solution of your choice. Here, I'm using Google Meet to conduct a lesson with my student, Martha. Okay, 
So here, livecasting your whiteboard means you're broadcasting its contents to your students' Chromebooks as they follow everything you have to say. And remember when I talked about whiteboard livecasting being a supercharged version of traditional whiteboards? Take a look at this. So say you want to give your students a little more information about the mural that we see here, created by the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. All you would have to do is add a live browser to your canvas and you can pull up a Wikipedia article in this live browser right here and explain everything so that you can give your students some background information about this institute. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so those are the instructional explain everything scenarios, explainer videos, and live casting. The last thing we're going to get to is collaborative scenarios, so when groups of students get together to whiteboard synchronously. Let's move on to that. Children learn best by doing, and Explain Everything encourages active collaboration and cooperation. So now what I'm going to do is show you an example of a collaborative lesson that I'm going to conduct over Explain Everything. As you can see here, the lesson is about the voyages of Christopher Columbus, and we're going to be illustrating his four journeys. I'm going to start by inviting my participants. So I'm going to tap Invite up here. And as you can see, this code has already appeared. I'm going to tap Share. And once again, share the code via the communicator I like or via Google Classroom. And once I've done that, I'm going to tap Start. And here we are. Now I can see that my student has also joined via that code that I sent her because the number of participants here has grown to two. So while she starts editing this project, um, I'd like to talk to you about some of the options we have when collaborating and explain everything. So if you tap this project code right here at the top, you can see um, the two people or however many people are currently in the project. And if we go a little lower, we can tap scenario. And from there, we can go to customize. And here you have the option to um, have all of the students follow the host, and that can be quite useful if you want to turn their attention to one specific thing. There's quite a bit of flexibility here for the teacher. So let's take a look at our project. I can see that my student has filled out all of Columbus's journeys. So we could just take that little boat and show how that goes here. <laughs> okay, and that's how we collaborate and explain everything. You can have up to 20 people in a project at one time, though we recommend a max of eight to avoid things getting a little too chaotic. But this is how teachers can recreate the classroom experience remotely. Wow, that was a lot of material. Last but not least, one cool thought, because it turns out that all these scenarios don't have to exist separately. They can all be combined. So say you want to live cast your whiteboard, but you want to have your students collaborating at the same time. No problem, you can live cast the collaboration. Or say you want to create an explainer video, but you don't want to do it all by yourself. You can add other people to your project and you can all create the explainer video together. All of these scenarios can be used separately, but they can also come together and become intertwined to create something no one person could have created alone. And that's the flexibility and the versatility of Explain Everything.